Yeah, we back now. Today we got some interesting news to deliver to the people. Now, if you remember, a couple weeks ago I had dropped a video and it was entitled Is Tariq Nasheed a snitch because he ran to the law for protection? And in that video, we were discussing the fact that Tariq Nasheed had put a restraining order out on another black man, another content creator on YouTube. Tariq Nasheed went to court and told the judge that he fears for his life. He said that Brandon, aka Pan Africanism, strikes back. He said that he fears for his life, his family's life, his wife's life, his children's life. And because of that, he wanted a restraining order placed on the good brother Pan Africanism Strikes Back. Now, in fact, I think the court date is tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. And when I put that video out, a lot of his fans came into the comment section and they said, oh, Tariq is a grown man. This doesn't hurt his credibility or reputation because he's a family man. He's a tax paying citizen. Cause you know, Tariq Nasheed, he came on the scene as a street dude. He said he came on the scene, he was a pimp. He was in the mean streets of LA, Alabama and Detroit. And his main claim to fame was his war stories from his time in the streets, particularly setting women out on the track and making them sell their bodies to Jewish men, white men, Mexicans, everything in between. So in that video, I had asked the audience, I had asked the general public, is Tariq Nasheed a snitch because he ran to the law for protection? Because only street dudes abide by the street code. Taxpaying citizens like myself who live on a sidewalk, we don't gotta follow the street code because we were never in the streets. So a guy like me, I could snitch because I'm a taxpaying citizen. I got no misdemeanors. I got no felonies on my record. <laughs> my record squeaky clean, bro. And of course his fan base who are gonna defend him no matter what, they came into the comment section and said, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Tariq Nasheed, he left that behind him. You don't understand people evolve, people grow. And in fact, before I play the footage, of Tariq Nasheed and Tahaka Bay. Let me play some footage from Brandon, aka Pan Africanism Strikes Back. This is the brother that Tariq Nasheed currently has a court case against because he said that he fears for his life, he fears for his family's life, but now all of a sudden he meets Tahaka Bay, and now this time he's not running to the police. This time he's handling his business in the street. So I'm gonna play the footage and I'm gonna be right back. Telling me that this is the same dude who then took me to court saying that they want a restraining order put on me. <laughs> We can get in a boxing ring. We gonna fight. Stop tweeting it in and come fight. Get off the internet and come see me. You, you can come see me. I'm at my office every day in Chatsworth. I'm not that hard to find. If you want how times have changed. That dude was a big old gangster. A couple years ago. Now y'all in court. Your honor. It's him right there. Your honor. That's all he do is threaten me. And I have nightmares every night that he's going to come get me. All right, we back. Now, what makes this so hilarious is the fact that the court date, I believe, is scheduled for tomorrow. So Tariq Nasheed about to put his suit on. He about to go down to the courtroom with a security detail tomorrow to stand in front of the judge and snitch like a bitch. But guess what? He's going to tell you he's a street dude. He saw Tariq Bay and he slapped Tariq Bay. But man, listen, man, I'm tired of these dudes, man. And I didn't even take a look at the comment section yet, but I guarantee all his fan base in the comment section. Oh man, big boss Tariq, big general Tariq. Oh man, my boss Tariq, crown boss Tariq. The same exact people who were in my comment section a couple weeks ago talking about Tariq Nasheed is not a snitch. He's a taxpaying citizen. He's a family man. He got a wife and kids. He can go to the he can go to the court because he pays his taxes. And just to be clear, listen, I don't got no problem with going to court. I don't got no problem with filing a lawsuit, doing whatever, because I'm a taxpaying citizen. I live on the sidewalk, so I don't abide by the street code. But you street dudes who live by the street code, when you come out and talk about you running to the court system because you're scared for your life and you claim you're a street dude, you made your name in the streets and people know you as a guy who always stood on your street connections and your street reputation, man, we got to call you out. We got to call you out. And now he's coming back. Now he's doubling back on the street reputation. Now, let me play the video where apparently Tahaka Bay went down to the hidden history convenience store so Hawker Bay went down to the hidden history post office now I don't know what Hawker Bay was doing down there listen he probably was going to the post office to drop off a package I told you in the last video that joint looked like a damn post office bro the only thing he did was slap some signs on that joint he put a little sticker on the door the same sticker that be on the Caribbean restaurants and then double back and try to tell you that that was a museum now anyways man I'm gonna play the video and I'm gonna be right back man let's go yo that bitch Taharka Bay just came up here to the museum. Shout out to the security up here. Shout out to his brother here. I just slapped the shit out of Taharka Bay. All right? Did you see me slap the shit out of him? <laughs> I just slapped the shit out of Taharka Bay and ran him the fuck up out of here. Yo, that bitch ass nigga Taharka Bay right there. Yo, that bitch nigga Taharka Bay just got slapped. Now, we back. Now, do you really think Tariq Nasheed slapped Tariq Bay? Now, I wasn't there, but I can only speculate because Tariq Nasheed turned back to his boy for confirmation. He was like, yeah, you saw me, you saw me, you saw me slap Tariq Bay? Yo, you saw me slap Tariq Bay? Bro, 
This dude damn near 60 years old, got a court case right now against another black man, got a restraining order against another black man because he running scared. And now we talking about he seen Taraka Bay and his first instinct, his first knee jerk reaction was to take it to the streets. Now, do you really believe this dude, man? Now, listen, you know me. I don't believe nothing he say. <laughs> now, you know me. I don't believe nothing he say. I'm going to need footage. I'm going to need, uh, I'm gonna need a, a reference. I'm going to need a second witness, a third witness, and a fourth witness because the first two witnesses might be Tariq Nasheed supporters. So we don't even trust them either. So it got to be a completely neutral party. Then after that, I need to see the security footage from the surveillance camera. And then maybe, maybe I believe Tariq Nasheed put his hands on Tariq Bay. And why do I not believe that Tariq Nasheed put his hands on Tariq Bay? Because his followers came into my comment section and they told me Tariq Nasheed, he put that behind him. He's not a street dude no more. He said he on the sidewalk with me now. And because he's on the sidewalk with me now, men on the sidewalk, we can go to court against other men. I understand that, but he claims he's a street dude. So I held him to the street standard. I held him to the street code. So as per usual, just like when Tariq Nasheed was a pan-Africanist and now he's a xenophobe, he's, he's, he's playing double dutch. He's hopscotch and he's going back and forth. One day I'm a street dude, one day I'm on the sidewalk. One day I'm in the streets, one day I'm on the sidewalk. And his fan base, they just go wherever the wind blows. If Tariq Nasheed on the sidewalk, then they support him on the sidewalk. If you're on the street, then they support him on the street. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Tariq, we don't believe you. We don't believe you, bro. You look washed up. I don't know why you're looking into the screen like that, acting like you hard. You, you're not hard, bro. You're not hard, Tariq. We don't believe you. We don't believe you. Even if we did believe you, we still don't respect you. Either way it goes, because you got a court date tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So make sure, make sure, make sure, wife, you got your suit ironed so you can go to court tomorrow and lose. You know what I'm saying? So stop the bullshit, man. Stop the bullshit, bro. Like I'm so tired of the games. I'm so tired of the nonsense, man. The same people cheering Tariq on in the comment section gonna be the same ones talking about. I hope you, I hope you have a victory in court tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you can't be in the streets and go to court, man. Now, if you're a street dude, the only time you're supposed to be going to court is when you stand in front of the prosecutor defending yourself. For a black man to go to court against another black man talking about you scared for your life and your family's life and... Psh. Man, listen, man, it don't get no more dishonorable than that. It don't get no more dishonorable than that because as black men, we should be able to talk it out. As black men, we should be able to handle our affairs without getting a third party involved, especially that third party who Tariq Nasheed claims to be the enemy, right? The white supremacist power structure, the white supremacist court system. If Tariq Nasheed was really a street dude, man, forget that. If Tariq Nasheed was really a real black man like he claims to be, why would he have an open case against another black man? And if he's going to court against another black man, why are you perpetuating a fraud hopping on social media talking about, oh, I seen Tarka Bay and it was on site. I seen Tarka Bay and I put the beats on him. I seen Tarka Bay and, and he was running scared. Man, who's running scared from you, bro? Who's running scared from you? If anybody running from you, it's because you're the police, all right? It's because you're the feds. Nobody respects your street reputation. Everybody knows you as federal agent Tariq, so stop it. I'm not even a street dude, but even I know how you street informants, you police informants operate. The police give you guys free reign to make it seem like you're the biggest street dude on the block, like you're the biggest gangster. And whole time you're working for the police. So stop it, bro. Stop it. Anyways, man, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Man, Tariq, get off the internet. You're looking crazy. You're looking foolish. You're looking goofy. Like I said, make sure wifey got your suit ready for tomorrow because you're gonna go in the courtroom and you're gonna take a loss. It is what it is, man. <laughs> Big shout out to the big bro, pan Africanism Strikes Back. It's going to be an easy victory tomorrow. Like, it ain't nothing. Like, it ain't nothing. Anyways, man, it's your boy, Nefakari Desilene. Back in the billy. Yes, indeed. Like, share, subscribe. Cash app in the description. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applaud it. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Now they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling attention. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play all my money, I see you in court. Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so elite Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces